Afternoon folks, Indy Truck Davy and the truck coming to you today from Airdrie. At the moment it's bright and sunny, there has been a, wee sh a few showers uh, through the course of the morning but I've travelled for Dundee down and at the moment it's looking nice here in North Lanarkshire. 13 degrees, great for this time of year. Reason for the blog, the vlog. Listen to the First Minister's uh, statement this morning at half past nine and now she's starting to move on to the sort of ground that interests me. Now, she pointed out some very important things if you listen carefully to what she has to say. She pointed out one of the things that I pointed out right at the very start of this vlog, gone back many videos ago now in September. And that is that the UK is a voluntary union. And nobody can be held in this union against its will. And to try and hold Scotland in this voluntary union against its will would simply blow away Years and years of academia and blow away years and years of constitutional conventions. Even the, I keep saying this, the Constitutional Committee and the House of Lords recognise that the UK is a voluntary union. And that, you know, according to the House of Lords Constitutional Committee, anybody, and I mean any member of this family of nations can leave this family of nations at any time at once and put in place the type of government that suits it. The other thing that she brought up was really important was the claim of right, although she did not mention that claim of right. She mentioned repeatedly that the Scottish people had the right to determine their own future and she mentioned the inanial... Inani sorry, I have to reject the call here. Um, and she also mentioned the right to self-determination, um, person-wise and nation-wise. She also pointed out quite clearly that Scotland is a nation. It's no region of the UK. It's no the property of Westminster. It is a nation. The UK is not a unitary state. These are things that I've been saying in this vlog now for months and months and months. And I'm glad to hear the First Minister get on to this um, this landscape, this area of um, politics, constitutional politics. It's time to start ramming it home to Westminster that actually this is a voluntary union and this isn't a unitary state and that Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales have the right to self-determination. They have the right to choose their own futures. I have been saying that repeatedly in these vlogs. I've been saying it repeatedly in these vlogs and I've been saying it repeatedly because it's true and it's a message that we have to get out there to no voters. It's a message we have to get out, out there to unionists because no voters and unionists are different things. Unionists are people who believe in the union whether it's going to make them poorer, whether they're going to make them uh, live in poverty, whether whatever. They would just stick with the union because it's the union. But no voters, they voted on things like, well, I'll be able to pay my mortgage. They voted about, well, my company up roots and moved to England. They voted on things like that. They voted on unsure futures. Now, we have to convince these people that their future would be more secure in an independent Scotland. And we have to convince these people that their mortgages will be safe and that their employment chances will be far greater in an independent Scotland. I personally believe that is the case. In fact, I know it's the case because the inward investment poured in for all over the world when Scotland becomes an independent country will be massive. Really massive. So, that's the grounds we have to work on. But the First Minister reiterated points that I've made in this vlog over and over and over again. The union is voluntary and we can't be held in it against our will. Scotland has a claim of right and it's embedded in their law and it's up to the people of Scotland to make that decision. No Westminster. This is mandate reaffirming election number four. To ignore that mandate would be a democratic outrage and the outside world is watching this and the outside world well, 
um, take sanctions against the United Kingdom if they continue down the line their own. And that includes America. Because our Irish friends have a huge influence in the Senate and in Congress. And we, of course, we are large diaspora, also have influence in these places. Anyway, that's it for the day. Andy Talk, Davy, and the Talk coming to you today from Airdrie. You have a nice day.